Hello everyone. Thank you for watching today. It's a great honor to be given this opportunity to present today. OK, let's begin now. Firstly, I would like to introduce myself. I'm San Satoshi from Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA. I'm working on Astronaut Medical Operations Group, and I'm responsible for JAXA Space Food Program. The objective of this presentation is to introduce JAXA Space Food Program. I worked in JAXA for about 20 years. At first, I engaged in new industry creation using microgravity on the International Space Station, such as drug discovery and new material creation, collaborating with several food and drug companies. At present, I'm leading the effort to promote Japanese space food and space life area, both on the International Space Station and beyond low Earth orbit, such as moon and Mars exploration. First of all, I'd like to introduce Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA. JAXA is a core performance agency to support the Japanese government's overall aerospace development and utilization. JAXA, therefore, can conduct integrated from basic research and development to utilization. JAXA is responsible for research and development for rocket, satellite, human space activities, space science, human space exploration for the moon, Mars, and aircraft. JAXA's corporate slogan is Explorer to Realize. JAXA has a long history of human space activities. It has been over 20 years since Mori Mamoru, who is the first Japanese astronaut to travel to space on the space shuttle, went to space in 1992. Until now, 11 Japanese astronauts went to space. During these years, many Japanese astronauts made various achievements, including space experiments, extra vehicle activities, assembling the International Space Station and long stay in space. JAXA also contributes to the ISS program by providing Japanese transportation cargo to the ISS, called HTV. All nine HTV missions were successfully launched and operated. Almost every year, Japanese astronauts stay in space and eat space food. Furthermore, the Japanese government is planning to send Japanese astronauts to the moon. This is the International Space Station, ISS. It is a multinational collaborative project involving 15 countries. It maintains an orbit with an average altitude of 400 kilometers and circles the Earth in roughly 90 minutes. This is slightly larger than a full-sized soccer field. The Japanese experiment module GEM is Japan's first manned experiment facility. And it is the largest experiment module on the ISS. This is a daily schedule of the astronauts on the ISS. Also, the ISS completes around 16 orbits per day. Astronauts spend 24 hours a day in space, as same as on the Earth. Astronauts are required to exercise two hours per day to avoid the both and the muscle loss and the microgravity. Astronauts typically get eight hours of sleep time. Most importantly, astronauts eat three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm a member of Astronauts Medical Operations Group in JAXA. Medical Operations Group provides special support to keep Japanese astronauts healthy in the harsh environment of space. This requires the support of not only a flight surgeon, but also experts in many different disciplines, such as exercise, neurophysiology, psychology, radiation protection, hygiene, and nutrition science in order to tackle various challenges that may arise in space. JAXA Space Food Team also belongs to JAXA Medical Operations Group. 
JAXA Space Food Team supports Japanese astronauts by food. Japanese astronauts on the ISS can enjoy the taste of Japanese food, relieve the stress of their long stay, and thereby maintain and improve their performance. Historically, Russian cosmonaut German Titov became the first human to eat in space in August 1961. Before the event, there was no knowledge that humans would be able to swallow and hence eat in microgravity. Food type is a tube, canning, and a bite size. John Gurren was the first American to consume food in space on the third manned Mercury mission in August 1962. Those foods are also tube type and dry food. Space food development began with highly engineered food that met rigid requirements imposed by spacecraft design and short mission durations. Apollo astronauts were the first to have hot water and eat their packaged food with a spoon. For the Space Shuttle program, a more Earth-like feeding approach was designed by updating previous food package designs and hardware items. Freeze drying technique was also developed at that time. Astronauts eat three meals a day on the ISS. Astronauts on the ISS mainly eat ISS standard menu, that is 80 to 85 percent of all food provided by NASA and Russia, while astronauts can choose their favorite bonus food that is around 50 to 20 percent of all food eaten on the ISS. Japanese astronauts can bring Japanese space food to the ISS as bonus food. Japanese space foods are similar to the foods typically served at Japanese homes. Then, Japanese astronauts enjoy the taste and variety that enhances the astronaut's performance on the ISS. What is space food? First, it's nutrition to maintain the health in space. Second, long-term storage at room temperature in space is required. Third, keep hygiene called HACCP, hazard analysis and critical control point is required. HACCP is a systematic approach to hazard identification, assessment of risk and control. And HACCP originated in the 1960s by NASA. Fourth, eat and the microgravity. Fifth, eat and the limited cooking facility. Long-term storage at room temperature is required for space food because there is no refrigerator on the ISS for food. Astronauts stay for about six months on the ISS, and the food delivery from the Earth to the ISS is limited. Then, long-term storage is necessary. So, unfortunately, it's difficult to deliver some Japanese traditional foods, such as sushi and tempura. Keeping hygiene is also required for space food because return chance from the ISS is limited and medical device is also limited on the ISS, then HACCP control is very important in the process of food production. To eat space food under microgravity, space foods are developed to avoid floating on the ISS and spreading liquid. Then some soups of space food are much higher viscosity than that on the Earth. For example, Japanese space foods such as ramen noodles are developed with higher viscosity soup than normal ramen noodles on the ground. The cooking facility on the ISS is limited. Then, space food is required to be cooked with a pure cooking method than that on the Earth. There are mainly two facilities on the ISS. First one is a facility to inject water or hot water. This water will mix with a drink powder already in the package. The adapter used to add water also holds a drinking straw for the astronauts. 
and the hot water can heat the food up to around 80 degrees Celsius. Hot water can make dehydrating foods easier and improve the food taste. Japanese ramen noodles are also cooked with hot water. The top of the food package, food package is cut off with a pair of scissors, and the contents are eaten with a spoon. The second one is food warmer. Not only package, but also canning is heated by this ISS food warmer. Japanese rice bowl called onigiri is also sometimes warmed by this facility. It takes about 20 minutes to warm up. This is a dining on the ISS. There are many Velcro tabs to fasten several items on the dining wall. Arsenals eat space food with spoon and a pair of scissors for cutting open packages. Those utensils are prepared in the dining. Condiments such as ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise are provided. Salt and pepper are also available, but only in a liquid form. This is because arsenals cannot sprinkle salt and pepper on their food in space. The salt and pepper would simply float away. There are danger. They could clog air vents, contaminate equipment, or get stuck in astronauts' eyes, mouth, or nose. This is a picture at meal time aboard the ISS with JAX astronauts, Wakata Koichi. Astronauts usually enjoy meal together around the table. Many cultures come together on the ISS, and that means that holidays are full of diversity. Most holidays involve food, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Day, and Ramadan. Some people focus on eating during the holidays, while others avoid certain good deeds. The astronauts are allowed to choose their favorite bonus food if they want special meals, and they sometimes share their bonus food with each other on the ISS. The astronaut enjoys a variety of food, and both Japanese astronauts and international partners astronauts enjoy Japanese space food. Space food used on the ISS should meet the requirement, including long-term storage, keep hygiene, and eatable under microgravity. The requirements are stipulated in the ISS food plan a standard document for space food supply to the ISS. The Japanese space foods are proposed by Japanese food companies and certified by JAXA if they meet the JAXA space food criteria established by JAXA according to ISS food plan. The main aim of Japanese space food is mental stress reduction, performance enhance, and the nutrition balance for astronauts. Japanese space foods are similar to the food usually eaten at home in Japan. Actually, ISS standard menu, 80 to 85% of all space foods are provided by NASA and Russia. And the taste is mostly American taste or Russian taste on the ISS. Then Japanese astronauts sometimes want to eat Japanese taste. So Japanese space food focus on items typically eaten in the Japanese homes. The Japanese space foods are certified by JAXA if they meet the criteria according to the JAXA space food certification. Many Japanese companies have participated and provide a variety of food as follows. Cooked rice, curry, ramen noodles, soy sauce, soup with wakame seaweed, canned mackerel, canned grilled chicken called yakitori, and so on. Those foods are in Japanese traditional sense. The package of ISS standard menu doesn't have any image of food on the surface, while the package of Japanese space food indicates the image of food on the surface. That makes the food look delicious. And astronauts notice what's inside quickly. This is Japanese omotenashi spirit. At the present, 47 space foods of 26 companies have been certified as Japanese space food. Japanese astronauts staying long time on the ISS can enjoy those variety of domestic foods. 
alleviate their mental stresses and maintain and improve their job performance. Since Japanese foods have worldwide been recognized to be healthy, it is expected that astronauts of the international partners will adopt Japanese space foods during their stay as ISS standard menu. Many people think you cannot eat fresh fruits and vegetables in space, but actually you can. Of course, fresh foods cannot be stored for very long compared to other space foods, so there are limited opportunities to eat fresh food on the ISS, but it's not impossible. JAXA delivers domestically produced fresh foods from Tanegashima Island to the ISS by H2 transfer beaker, HTV, to mitigate the astronaut's various stresses during long stay. Fresh foods are juicy and crisp that enhance the astronaut's performance. With this wish in mind, we have delivered fresh foods into the hands of many astronauts. Those activities boost Japan's presence in the ISS program. Fresh foods are selected according to JAXA technical requirements. Until now, many Japanese fruits and vegetables were delivered to the ISS as follows. Oranges, lemons, paprikas, kiwis, grapes, onions, and so on. At the ISS Multilateral Coordination Board, MCD, representatives from the United States, Canada, Europe, Russia, and Japan acknowledge the growing economy in low Earth orbit through the increased use of ISS. Looking to exploration activities beyond LEO, the MCB members reaffirmed their continued intention to cooperate on a human outpost in the lunar vicinity gateway. The partners will continue to develop cooperative opportunities to explore the lunar surface, leading to the exploration of Mars. And Japan and the United States issued a joint declaration promising to put Japanese astronauts on the moon for the first time by the end of the 2020s. JAXA would like to contribute to the space exploration for the moon by Japanese space food. At first, JAXA would like to contribute to the ISS program as ISS standard menu. Then we started to discuss with NASA Food Lab team about the Japanese space food as ISS standard menu. Many astronauts and international partners already enjoy Japanese space food. Both Moon, Mars, and ISS are in space, but the environment of Moon and Mars are very different from the ISS, from the perspective of medical risk factor. For example, the adaptation to the gravity after microgravity travel, long duration space living, high radiation exposure, distance from the Earth, lunar dust, and Mars storm. To manage the health of astronauts during future human space exploration activities on and around the Moon and Mars. JAXA is moving forward with research and development to acquire the necessary space medicine and healthcare technologies. Compared to medical operations on the ISS, the technologies required for Moon and Mars are more advanced. These technologies have been identified as technological gaps. JAXA identified 166 gaps, including nutrition related gaps, as follows variety of meals and nutrition, long term storage, and malnutrition. As an example of the technology, JAXA identified AI nutrition evaluation, LED cultivation, protein production, space refrigerator and intravenous feeding. JAXA would like to contribute to the space exploration program by those technologies. To finish, I would like to give you a quick summary of the main points we have seen today. JAXA established Japanese Space Food Certification Standard in 2007, according to ISS Food Plan. Many food companies have participated in JAXA space food program and provide 47 variety of Japanese space food. 
both Japanese astronauts and international astronauts enjoy Japanese space food and said it's delicious. JAXA would like to contribute both the ISS program and the moon program by Japanese space food. I hope that you are now better informed of JAXA space food program collaborating with a variety of Japanese food companies. That brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.